So secrets and encryption in my Kubernetes cluster on my Raspberry Pis. Um, so real quick, we're just going to create an encryption configuration for encrypting secrets of data at rest. Uh, you can find this at the official Kubernetes documentation. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, you don't have to have the Kubernetes cluster up and running already, but you do need kubectl installed. Um, and basically, I, all I'm going to do uh, here is we're going to take an encryption uh, format here. We're going to put it in a Jinja template in Ansible, and we're going to distribute that uh, to our master nodes. Um, but we also, they tell us down here we need to, okay, yeah, so we're going to take this configuration file here. Uh, we need to create a 32-byte random key base 40 and base 64 encode it. So we need to run this command on the Ansible machine. We're not, sorry, on a host, right? Um, and we need to get the output of this and we need to put it in this configuration. So what I've done here is, again, we have that uh, generate 32-byte random key and base 64 encode it command here. And we're running a shell command. We're running that command as in the shell module. We're, re we're registering the output of that shell command as a variable called secret on when our masters, uh, when our node is in the masters group. And I've only got one master for now, but when I add a second, that becomes helpful. And then of course we've got our tags. Uh, and then when we get that variable from the shell command, in the previous task, uh, we will take this template. We're going to do two things at the same time. We're going to take this template from over here, encryptionconfig.yaml.j2, and we're going to place it in home k it's admin encryption encryptionconfig.yaml. And so that variable, I call it out here in Ansible a secret. Since we registered that variable as secret, if I define in the Jinja2 template secret.standard out, whatever the output of that shell command was, it's going to be registered as the secret variable and placed here within the template. So when the template gets assigned to the host, uh, that secret that we generated is dynamically passed into there. We don't have to statically define it anywhere. Um, and then we register the encryption config for fetching from master one. So uh, what I like to do is um, instead of installing rsync on my, my servers and syncing master one to master two, right? I'm using the find command to find this file and I'm registering that file and its contents as files to copy. And then I'm using the fetch module to take that file to copy that files uh, and it's going to place it in my role secrets files directory here as encryption config.yaml. So there's a secret that got generated. Now, if you wanted to be secure, you would uh, try to pass this into uh, Ansible vault somehow and vault this secret. Um, or another way, maybe not as secure, but still secure, right? I have a warning here. Please add this roles slash files directory to your .git ignore because when you fetch this encryption config, back to your Ansible controller and you decide you want to push it up to GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, whatever, you're going to be pushing this encryption config.yaml if you don't put it in your .git ignore like I did here. So just so, to go ahead and prove to you that this works, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run only the secrets role. I'm going to delete this file out of here with the trash. And I've already gone ahead and removed um, See if you can see it. I've gone ahead and I've removed uh, encryption config.yaml from the master node. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. So it's going to run on the master node because I've defined a one condition. So we're gathering facts. Sorry if it's a little bit slow. My VM on my Windows host is a little slow. So now we're generating the key. We're placing the key within the template and placing the template on the host. We're fetching it back and there. You can see that our file showed up. And it should match the key here, and it does. And then next up, we're gonna do certificates.